In this video about moving from concept to proposal and moving into Revit, I'll take a look at how we can take our updated geometry from Ecotech and pull it into Revit to begin modeling our proposal with real building components. I have now opened the conceptual environment with inside Revit and in this tutorial I'll kind of show the methodology going from concept to proposal with inside Revit. So the first thing I did was really to do some conceptual mathing with inside Revit to work with my development and I built up four different proposals here and I then pull then these proposals into Ecotech analysis where I can control the different proposals here in uh, the zone management. So after doing comprehensive analysis using this Excel sheet here, I choose to go for the first design alternative that I showed. Then I went back into to Revit and I made a very simple energy model, tested out different types of glazing areas and I went for this proposal here. So inside Ecocheck I can now actually start work with my glazing areas quite logical here, just hitting the set key to have a bit more light coming into the building. So when that was done, I simply went here to the export manager and I exported the model to a DXF file. Then I'm going back into to Revit. I want to go for my design option one here. And I went into the mass and say it in place. And because I want to have something that I can really draw after, putting in my windows and building up my geometry. I can now use or reuse some very simple geometry coming in as DXF into Revit. So what I did was just to insert a cat link and linking in the geometry from Ecotect. And that provides me with the possibility to have a iterative process where I can work with simulating inside Ecotect and build my geometry with inside Revit. I'm just hitting OK. So you'll see that now I really have my geometry and the print of the windows. So I want to go into the main model here. And what I want to do now is that I want to go either just to wall and say wall by face, or I can go to, to the masking tab here and I can say wall. And then I can choose the wall that I want to work with and then I can begin pulling on my walls here. So. going on like this and pulling on my walls here at my geometry and to take a look here we can go to shade it and see that now we're beginning to pull on some some walls here so as you'll see this is a quite simple process and I can just move on doing this then I want to hit on my some floors here. So I can simply hit here, 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 and here, hitting on my mass floors. And I wanna go in and I wanna set up some roof and I go to mark up my roof here and here. They create roof like that. And I'm actually able to control the way that they are orientated here. So what I'm working with here is just some very simple geometry that can make sure that I still have a quite flexible model before going in and choosing the actual constructions in the model. So then I want to go to home and I want to hit my window and I made this special window here that I can use for just it's line based so I'm actually just to go and this shouldn't be too size here in this phase. This is just really working with the geometry. I'm also able to adjust the, um, the boundaries here. And then I can do simply take the wall here, say control C, and then I can paste it in to align to selected levels. Say I want to one, two, and three, and four, like that. Uh, now I simply set in the windows here, mark out the window here, create similar, like that. And of course I can divide these glazing areas into more than one here. Just saying that, control C and say paste to selected levels. 
say one, two, four, like that. Okay, so really that's quite an effective process. And now I can actually begin setting in my rooms, exporting them all back to Ecotech Analysis, where I can work with some more complex geometry, just validating the light levels and stuff like that inside Ecotech Analysis here. So this is just a effective or just a, a bit of inspiration on how you can transform your concept into a proposal using Ecotech Revit and Vasari.